What's up guys, Hownish here with this week's Vendor Reset Breakdown for Destiny, running from June 13th up until June the 20th. So we're going to take a look at the best weapon rolls available in the tower, as well as any very well rolled armor that you can pick up this week. So at the Crucible Quartermaster, we have a pretty nice B29 party favor. We've got Reflex Sight, Sure Shot IS, and OEG Rifle Scopes. Up next, we have Rodeo, which is pretty good, or Life Support. Then we have Perfect Balance for more stability, or Rifle Barrel for a ton of range. And finally, we have Glass Half Full. So running either Reflex or Sure Shot, depending on your preference, with Rodeo for um, you know reduced recoil, Perfect Balance, and Glass Half Full, this is a pretty nice roll of the party favor. The hero formula this week comes with MD Reflex, we've got Ranged Lens, RLS3 and the Reflex Scope. We have Eye of the Storm or Last Resort, neither of these are super exciting, but we do have Handlaid Stock or Explosive Rounds, and then finally Reactive Reload. So if you want a nice Reactive Reload, High Stability or Explosive Round Scout Rifle, and then, you know, either of these bonuses can be useful from time to time, this is, you know, fairly decent. The mighty Palindrome has deflated this week. Okay, so this week's roll has True Sight, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw IS. We've got Relentless Tracker or Partial Refund. Reinforced Barrel does hit max range, but at the cost of stability. We also have High Caliber Rounds and Third Eye, so these perks may interest some folks, but definitely not the god roll that we've been seeing up until now. Parthian Shot this week is okay if you haven't picked up any of the previous rolls. So we've got the Reflex Scope, Sure Shot IS, and OEG Rifle Scope. Up next, we've got Outlaw or Life support right there. In the middle we've got small bore or feather mag and finally counterbalance. So you can get counterbalance with small bore which is interesting because it gives you a little bit more range there as well as stability. That's going to be pretty nasty. You do drop the max size but you have outlaw so if you're hitting precision kills uh, it's not going to be too bad getting those reloads in. Definitely an interesting role of the Parthian shot. Angel's Advocate is pretty nice if you're interested in it for PvP in particular. We've got Hidden Hand, perfect balance for a ton of stability, or Hammer Forged for even more range. We've got Zen Moment or Who's Next, and then Red Dot ORA, Ranged Lens RLR5, and Reflex Scopes right there. So this for some folks may be pretty nice for PvP. Teacup Tempest is interesting this week if you're after a reactive reload sidearm that can be pretty nasty. So we've got that, we've got Fitted Stock for more stability or high caliber rounds, Zen Moment or Army of One, and then Steady Hand IS, Sure Shot IS, and Quick Draw IS. So overall, a pretty decent sidearm. The Waltz this week is pretty nice. So we've got the Red Dot ORA 2, Steady Hand IS, and OEG Rifle Scopes. Up next, we've got High Caliber Rounds or Lightweight. High Cal is always good. We've got small bore for increased range and stability at the expense of reload and magazine size right there, or outlaw finally counterbalance. So it doesn't have the kind of stability that you might want, but it's it's not too bad. We've got decent stability, very good range, high cow, and counterbalance right there. So this may interest some folks for sure. Pretty solid workhorse roll of the wounded. So we've got hidden hand, small bore or triple tap right there. We do have extended mag and quick draw. We've got red dot ORA, ranged lens, and finally OEG scopes. So definitely something that will interest some of you guys. Pretty solid roll of the keystone, particularly for PvP, because we've got hidden hand, perfect balance for pretty nice stability, or third eye. Then we've got extended magazine or quick draw. And finally, red dot ORA and uh, range lens and OEG scope. So generally, pretty nice options right there. You know, a solid workhorse scout rifle for PvP. We've got a pretty interesting Assembly 2 from New Monarchy. These don't typically roll super high stability, but this one has counterbalance as well as perfect balance right there. We also have crowd control in the first column, armor piercing rounds or quick draw. And then we've got red dot ORA, quick draw IS and OEG scopes. So some pretty decent stability. You know, it's not absolutely godly, but you do have counterbalance as well. This first slot could have been perhaps a little bit better, but on the whole, this is one of the better rolls of this auto rifle. We have a potentially interesting first citizen here as well so we've got persistence we have perfect balance for lots of stability or feeding frenzy we've got high caliber rounds which just seems absolutely op on this kind of machine gun we also have lightweight and then we've got accurized ballistics smart drift control and field chokes so you may go smart drift high cow uh, perfect balance for a ton of stability this thing has the potential to absolutely shred in the crucible but that pretty much sums up the most interesting weapon rolls available in the tower this 
week, guys. A bit of a mixed bag, nothing super, super exciting. But now let's jump to the best armor rolls that you can pick up this week. So from the Titan Vanguard, we have the Vitruvius mark with intellect discipline right there coming in at 100%. There's a 98% roll on the Tower Watch shell with intellect discipline. You can also get intellect strength at 98% from the Hunter Vanguard for the Tower Watch shell. The Warlock Vanguard is offering both a 98% intellect discipline chess piece right here and a 98% helm with intellect discipline. Eris has a Hunter cloak right here, 98% intellect strength. We also have 98% on the Curse of the Hidden for the Warlock, again with Intellect Strength. Varix has the Devil's Disguise Hunter Cloak, 98% with Intellect Strength. We also have the Devil's Bond for the Warlock, again 98% with Intellect Discipline. We have 99% Titan Gauntlets from Dead Orbit with Intellect Strength right there. New Monarchy's Senator Shell this week comes with Intellect Discipline at 98% overall. We also have the Crucible Warlock Helmet at 98% with Intellect Strength. Everything is 98% this week. Tyra's Artifacts are the Mantle of Gelion with 88% with just Strength right there. 99% roll of the Memory of Timur with Intellect Strength. And finally, a 93% roll of the Memory of Radagast with Discipline Strength. Guess what? There's more 98% rolls. So we have the Hunter Cloak, the Venom of Akaika. I think that's how you say that from the speaker. Intellect Discipline. We also have 96% on the year 1993 for the Titan with Intellect Discipline. And finally, 99%. And finally, 98% on the Moctezuma Polyphonic for the Titan with Intellect Strength. Warlocks can also have a 98% bond from the Speaker. This has Intellect Discipline right there, the Stormcaller's bond. And that pretty much sums up the vendor reset for this week, guys. Bit of a mixed bag, not super exciting in terms of weapons and armor, but still some stuff to pick up for sure if you're still grinding. So I hope this video has been useful. If it has, a like and comment below is very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see a lot more Destiny and Destiny 2 content. But for now, you guys have an awesome week.